Welcome to another digital painting video with Greta. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the other brush engines to create impressive effects. So are you ready? Because here we go. So now let's get fun. The first brush we have here is this one. It seems to be nothing special, but let me show you. This is an addition that has recently been added to Krita. This is using the spray brush engine. Do you remember I did a video about the spray brush engine and it, it was covering most of the parameters that you can find in the brush engine. So let's continue with this brush because if I go to the brush editor, you can see the spray area has been modified in this part. If you compare with the other video, by default, is using this option, but we have disabled because allow us to create this kind of behavior. If we left the option by default, we have the legacy behavior. So we have something like this. And if I go here, you can see that there's more options here because I can play with the Gaussian spreading. I can create cluster cluster like this. Also, I can control this parameter with a curve. I can create my own curve and that way I can create these kind of weird behaviors. And if I repeat the curve, then I get this result. Right now, I have what I call a fast brush tip creator because I can use this as a brush tip or I can modify this in the brush tip section I can increase this value and I have this effect. Also, if you want a pure opaque, then disable the effect and you have this. Totally different brush tips that you can create and combining this, it can be impressive. Let me show you in real time really fast because I select the black and now I can just stretch so the first thing that I want to do is to create a selection. When we are creating a selections, maybe this is too much. So we press the Alt key and then move while pressing the Alt key. And then we readjust. I release the Alt key and then I have this. Now I go to the brush editor and then I go to the brush tip section and it is pretty fine. I'm going to stamp and then I have this. And I select the name XX. Let me let me check this faster. And I reduce this by default. And I don't want to preserve the alpha channel. And save. Go to the brush tip. I can go here and then go to predefine and search for the XX. I can make this bigger. And I have my brush tip is working. But I'm going to reduce this and now is almost done. I reduce the flow to achieve this kind of bristle effect. Isn't it cool? Sometimes we have a background like this and we don't want to create light by light. And this idea came from a video I saw about Akira. We create a new layer and then select the brush, the grid lights, and then select a color, darker color, and now I start to paint something right here. And you can see how its, its light is positioned in a vertical grid alignment. As I have created a new layer, I have all my lights here so I can duplicate and filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And I'm going to blur this, not too much. And now I'm going to put this in a color dodge or in addition to, and that way I reinforce the effect as you can see here. And how can I change the size of the lights? Well, you can see I'm using the grid engine. Right now we are using 13, so I can use more and I can create this kind of effect, but we can increase the uh, square size and how we can go here and then select the same amount of pixels and now we have bigger squares okay i can just draw in right here to see the effect you can select another shape in the particle type so right now is a rectangle 
So I can select, for example, the lips. I can go to the brush size and then reduce the heating. I have the effect, but I'm going to remove the vertical border. It's like stretching the shape. You can see right now, if I use this, I'm stretching in the vertical. And if I go here, I can stretch in the horizontal. I can compress horizontally. So maybe you want something like this. And that way you can create also this kind of interesting behavior. And why the color is varying between its circle? Because I have in the color options, in the color options, I have randomized the color. But I can use this to create a party or color. So I can select maybe this, or I can go even further because if I use this, now this is the color, another color, other color. But if I go here and activate the color per particle, you can see the result. It's amazing. I love the lights. And also you can control the size of the, of the ellipse particle. If you go just here, the brush size, then just select these and makes equal to the diameter of your grid because the grid contains the element. If you want two ellipses in the grid, you need this in 90 and I go here, 45. And now when I paint, I have two circles, but with differing colors per particle, okay? And I can also use a more interesting feature because I can divide by pressure. So I can divide by pressure, but now I need to tell Krita how much levels I want for that division. So if I make something like this 10, you can create this kind of effect where with pressure, I can control the size. So in a very easy way, I can fill my buildings with an amazing effect of lighting. Perfect for a sci-fi. What about the energy, Raymond? If you are thinking about energy, you probably want to create this kind of brushstroke. It's like something that is coming from her hand. So let's go to reproduce it. To do that, I have to select one of these brushes that is prepared to create or a soft effect. So first I'm going to create uh, a layer of everything. And then I can create this kind of effect, but it's very subtle. But by default, these can create this kind of uh, light rays, okay? So maybe you can see that is too sharp. So I can create a copy of this and then I can go to the filter and as you may guess, I'm going to apply a Gaussian blur. It's not too much, but around this value, maybe something like this. And I can create a glowing effect and that's it. And if you want to create a lighter effect, we can use also the blending modes because we can use the color touch or we can use the addition. And if we don't like the color of the light ray, we can just select and then go to the filter, adjust, and go to the HSB adjustment. So we can or colorize, or we can just make a hue variation. It is very useful to have everything separated because that way we can change the color separately. And to make this non-destructive, we can select the create filter mask. So now we can recover the previous color or stay with the modify. So I hope you like it. Also, if you see that when you zoom in, then you have this kind of lines structure. You can blur this going to filter, just blur it again and blur and make this something like this. Okay, and create a filter mask. Maybe you like it more that way. So it's impressive. This can be also modified a bit to blend better. 
with the painting and I blend right here and it's already done. Easy. And if you want to move elements on your image and create distortions, I have the perfect brush for you too. You can see how the background, it seems to be created with plugin or something like this, but no, it was created using a brush I create in Krita to create this specific effect. Let me show you how to do it right now. I'm going to duplicate and I'm going to select this brush, the filter liquid distort. And as you can see, it's using another brush engine. It's a very powerful because it's the deform engine. You can see that it's included here. I can select the what type of deform I'm going to use it. So as you can see, I am using the shrink and the deform amount is at the top to produce that effect. I'm going to show you right now because you can drag from uh, your picture and if I want to get interaction between color, you can see how uh, needs to be in an area with something painted. And if you move it, you can see that you can create this kind of effect. And how is this produced? If I use another uh, type of deformation like growing, you can see that the effect is different. So this brush can be used different effects, something like this. And it works very well with the brush that can create this kind of liquid movement. And then I can distort the movement with something like this. I think this is enough because we have more content. In the previous video, we talked about how to create patterns, seamless patterns. So let's select this brush and let's go to create a new. I'm going to select here the texture, this, and I create an image. And I'm going to wrap around mode and start painting. You can see I'm going to finish in a couple of seconds. We will see the what this can produce. Okay, let's go to the filter and then go to the again, as in the previous video, to the edge detection. And let's select the right edge and let's go to the subble. And you see, I can create this kind of uh, like paper texture. So I create a filter mask, the filter blur, Gaussian blur, and use it as it is. You can click OK and you can, for example, create a new layer, fill with white and done. You have a paper created in seconds with this brush. Isn't it cool? Blending modes are really useful to control the lighting effects of our scene. For example, imagine I want to create cave interior, create lava or something that is going to break the wall. So how will you do it? You can draw everything, but let me show you one thing. Because if I go to the texture section, I found this brass, which is called the texture rocks. I can create this effect and you can see how this is creating rocks and if I go over again and again in the same brush stroke I can lighten the scene with an interesting effect but if I want to light the rock then I go here and go to the pattern change this to from multiply to subtract and then you can light the rocks you can create this effect and it gives you a lot of power because you can also create a fracture in the rocks because if I go to the multiply again and reduce this I can create this kind of fracture and remember we are only using one single brush imagine you want to create this effect from scratch so you select this brush the basic two opacity and then go to the brush editor and go to the painting mode and change this from wash to build up and that way we achieve an incremental effect on the blending mode that is applied to the stroke and I have this effect okay it's a normal brush if I go to the addition you will see the lighting effect right now if I go to darker color you see a more color range here and how we can achieve the textured effect we go to the pattern and then activate the pattern we need for this specific effect and then you have 
the stones rated easy in the next video we will be covering all the general options that we can find in the brush editor i will show you how i create my own brushes with all the tricks i use don't miss it just enjoy it and don't forget we have a lot of more contents in the channel you can watch them and learn a lot with all the tricks brushes or bundles that the videos contains so enjoy them see you next time bye